In Genesis, Jesus is the seed of the woman. In Exodus, he is the Passover lamb. In Leviticus, he is the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. In Numbers, God is a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. In Deuteronomy, Jesus is the prophet like Moses. In Joshua, Jesus is the captain of our salvation. In Judges, he is our judge and lawgiver. In Ruth, he is our kinsman and redeemer. 1 and 2 Samuel, he is our prophet. In Kings and Chronicles, he is our reigning king. In Ezra, he is a rebuild of the broken walls of human life. Nehemiah, Jesus is our restorer. In Esther, he is our advocate. In Job, Jesus is our ever-living redeemer. In Psalms, he is our shepherd. In Proverbs, he is our wisdom. In Ecclesiastes, he is our hope of resurrection. In the Song of Songs, he is our loving bridegroom. In Isaiah, Jesus is the suffering servant. In Jeremiah, he is the righteous wrong. In Lamentations, he is our weeping prophet. In Ezekiel, he is the one with the right to rule. In Daniel, Jesus is the fourth man in the fiery furnace. In Hosea, Jesus is the faithful husband, forever married to the sinner. In Joel, he is, he is the one who is baptised in the Holy Spirit fire. In Amos, he is justice. In Obadiah, he is mighty to save. In Jonah, he is a great revolutionary. In Micah, Jesus is the feet who brings good news. In Nahum, Jesus is the stronghold in the day of our trouble. In Habakkuk, he is God my saviour. In Zephaniah, he is the king of Israel. In Haggai, he is the signet ring. In Zechariah, he is our hum humble king riding on a donkey. In Malachi, Jesus is the son of righteousness. In Matthew, Jesus will go with us. In Mark, Jesus is the son of God. In Luke, he is the son of Mary. In John, he is the bread of life. In Acts, Jesus is the saviour of the world. In Romans, Jesus is the righteousness of God. In 1 Corinthians, he is the resurrection. In 2 Corinthians, he is the God of comfort. In Galatians, he sets you free. In Ephesians, Jesus is the head of the church. In Philippians, he is your joy. In Colossians, he is our completeness. In 1 and 2 Thessalonians, he is your hope. In 1 Timothy, he is your hope. In 2 Timothy, Jesus is our stability. In Titan, in Jesus is truth. In Philemon, he is our benefactor. In Hebrews, he is your perfection. In James, he is the power of your faith. In 1 Peter, he is your example. In 2 Peter, Jesus is your purity. In 1 John, Jesus is your life. In 2 John, he is your pattern. In 3 John, he is your motivation. In Jude, he is the fountain of your faith. In Revelation, Jesus is your coming King. He is the first and the last and the beginning and the end. He is the keeper of creation and the creator of all. He is the architect of our universe and the manager of all time. He always was, he always is and he always will be. Unmoved, unchanged, undefeated and never undone. He was persecuted and fought freedom. He was dead and brought life. He has risen and brought power. The armies can't defeat him and the schools can't explain him. The leaders couldn't ignore him, but Herod couldn't kill him. The Pharisees couldn't confuse him. The people couldn't hold him. Nero couldn't crush him. Hitler couldn't find him. He had life, love and law. He is goodness, kindness, gentleness and love. He is holy, righteous, mighty, powerful, good. His way is right, his word eternal. His rules are unchanging and his mind is on me. He is my redeemer, he is my saviour, he is my God, he is my priest. He is my joy, he is my comfort and he rules my life.